Joining me in the control room is Bill Kroll, former general manager of WTIU and WFIU. Bill, when you started at the station, you said you were a film supervisor. Film supervisor. What was that position? Actually, there, it was a position because there was no film. <laughs> it was a kinescope recording. And you made kinescope recording, you photographed on film what the TV picture was because there was no such thing as videotape. So uh, they hired, they, they put, the, put the job description out. And I found out that out of all the candidates, of which there were two, <laughs> I was selected. <laughs> and why were you picked? Because I had two degrees. But you didn't know what a kinescope was. No, I didn't know what a kinescope was. The reason uh, I think I got it because of my two degrees was the fact that there was no film taught on the undergraduate level. And uh, the uh, director and chair, Elmer Selzer, asked me if I could develop a course of study for a film production. I said, certainly. So I went home. And that, <coughs> that night, I developed a course proposal. We took it over to the dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, who was our boss, Frank T. Gooker. And uh, that probably helped me get the job. I'd imagine it did. <laughs> Now, that means you were here during the process of deciding to apply for a license yes. for this new thing uh, for a television station. How, did, how long did that take? It started in 1961. And the license came? And the license came, well, the, the uh, telegram that came to tell us we could program on air came on March 3, 1969. And uh, during the course of that period of time, there were renewals of construction permits, uh, renewal, as a matter of fact, we had to file, I didn't realize it, but they have a form to file for an expired construction permit. Well, they've got a form for everything. <laughs> what was unusual when the telegram came? Well, what was unusual was the fact that uh, we got a telegram because the telegraph office was down on Kirkwood and it was on a Sunday afternoon, I'll never forget it because everybody was standing around here waiting to go on the air, but we didn't have the telegram. So I called and she said, oh yeah, there's a telegram down here. So I drove down to Kirkwood and went in a telegraph office and she gave it to me and I said, this is for WFIU. And she said, yeah, she said, they got the call letters wrong. We knew there was no WTIU, so we changed it. <laughs> well, Bill? So she retyped it. <laughs> I, I don't know if you uh, have oh, seen it oh, in you, all these years. <laughs> no, I haven't. But this is the, the original telegram. Oh, really? <laughs> What's the date? Brad Howard still had it in his files. Did he really? The date is March 22, 1969. March 22. But you were involved in quite a few things. Uh, during those uh, early years, there was even a remote uh, mobile truck. A wasn't mobile there? unit. Oh, Alice. I didn't know she had a name. <laughs> well, I think uh, one of the engineers nicknamed it Alice. It, um, this was during, I, I had a sabbatical during the time that this was purchased. So when I got back, I was informed by the then executive vice president of the university, we were the proud owners of a television mobile unit. And we hired it from ABC. And I thought, well, ABC, that's a pretty good network. Yeah. They probably had some good stuff. You should have seen that thing. It had six cameras, two videotape recorders, switching equipment, audio equipment. The only trouble was it would had a hard time getting it started to run it from one place <laughs> to the other. And all, also, the camera equipment was rather old and ancient and took a couple of hard uh, knocks on the side of the camera to get it going. How did we manage to get it from ABC? I have no idea. It was on I, its last I, legs? It was, it, we, oh, yeah. Well, well it was, I, I forget how much it was, ten dollars or $15,000, I think, is what we paid. But the thing that, 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 that got me more than anything else uh, was uh, the fact that ABC had sold it to us, we had sent them the money, and we had two engineers on the way to drive it back from New York City to, to Bloomington, Indiana. And I got a call, and they said, we'd like to rent the unit. <laughs> and they had to take it to Atlantic City 
to do a, a convention or something like that. So we almost got our money back before we ever got, got to Bloomington. I wish we had a deal like <laughs> that today. <laughs> yeah, can't do it. Bill Kroll, thank you for coming in and joining us as part of the 40th anniversary celebration. Bill was a pioneer in WTIU television, knew the place from the ground up and still does.